Sitting in the dark, wishing this would end. Feeling all the pain, couldn't make a man. Losing all. It's my jam. It's literally my jam, and um, I hope that it gets you through, as I hope it would. You know, um, I listen to it as much as I can, especially when I'm in those nervous moments or discouraging moments. It's like, okay, it's gonna work out. So um, I wanted to make this a part B because if you've been doing the challenge from next week, you definitely ran into this, unless you're just, you know, the ultimate achiever and you just. You know, you just flew past this segment, but and if you did, that's fine. But this is for those of us who may be a little more um, slow. <laughs> so, um, as I told you all, to pick something that you want to do um, and do the experiment, so that you can effectively see if the thoughts that you've been thinking, if they're correct. You know, if 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 in fact you are nothing, if in fact you can't do anything. So I propose for you all to do an experiment. So here's the frustrating part, which is where I am, and I can be totally honest. The thing is, okay, do the experiment, find out what you're made out of. Great. Then you come to this crossroad of, dang, what do I really want to do? And it's like, you know, you know what you want to do, but it's like, which way should I take? You know what I mean? I know, like I wrote, like I put in the song, don't get caught up in where to start or you won't start. You know what I mean? Which is true. Don't get caught up where to start. But I found myself today like, okay, should I do the safe way? Should I just get a job and, and hustle, you know what I'm saying, to build my business? Or should I just stick it out with my business all the way? And that has been such, I mean, an eye-rolling day for me, just trying to figure out what exactly I want to do, what's the best use of my time and my energy. And so really, I just wanted to encourage you all today, and I hope that you're taking the challenge. Um, but if, in fact, your question is, which way should I take, you know, which way would be best? Um, I can honestly say that when I was asking myself those questions, this is what came to mind. And my fiance tells me that all the time, too. But it's whatever you decide. And knowing that, some of our fears are that we won't decide the right, the right, right, 
the right thing or the right way as if there's something already designated or something already saying right way wrong way you know so a lot of times we don't carry out these decisions because we don't know if it's the right thing to do and we don't know if this is the right time and you know we don't know and we we base things off of the right thing and someone uh told me before and i'll never forget it i told her i said you know i i want to do this i want to do this but i just don't know if it's god's will i don't know if he'll be with me i don't i don't know if i should start here i just don't know where to start and she brought up proverbs to me she said the bible says um wherever your foot shall tread there he will be also so i was like oh okay and i was like okay so she said uh wise man's steps are ordered by the lord i was like okay <laughs> and so basically she broke it down for me and was basically saying to you that whatever you so decide god will be with you if it is in his will he will be with you and i know some people say well what if i decided to jump off a cliff you gonna say he go he will be with me too Come on now, people. Let's stay focused. I mean, anything that is in his will, if you step out on it in faith, by his word, he'd have to be there with you. And even after knowing that, I was still nervous because I'm like, how you know, though? Like, how you know he's going to be there? How you know he's going to make a way? Um, what, what if it gets too hard? What if I can't take it? And that's the sum of all our fears. What if it's too much? What if I can't bear what will come? What could possibly come? And she said, just know that whatever step you take, whatever, this, whichever way you decide to go left, you decide to go right, he'll be with you. And I think the part we get stuck on, and this is how we define the right way. Unconsciously, we think that the right way is the less painful way. So, say for instance, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business, and you're trying to decide, just as I am, hmm, should I start by you know, working another job, save up money and put it into this business? Or should I just start in my business from the ground up, just start hustling through my business? Um, he had those questions. And in my mind, it's like, well, the right way is to work, save up, and, put the, and then put the money back into the business, right? But for some people, that's not the right way. For some people, it may be, for you to totally dig your head in, put your heels in, and get to work, and start pushing your business from the ground up. Now, don't get me wrong, there may be some times where you do pick up odd jobs, you know, to get things done, but it's whatever you must have. It's whatever you feel is necessary. That's what you'll have. And Tony Robbins had to tell me that. Look him up, his name is Tony Robbins. He's a famous, motivational speaker he said we don't have what we, we don't get what we want we get what we must and if it's a must for you you'll get it and so my point of bringing this to you all is to just say don't think about right and wrong there's no right and wrong now there is faith and doubt that's the right and wrong that was good <laughs> put my head falling down that, that's the right and wrong faith and doubt but in terms of which way to get something done, which way to do it, you just got you you just gotta decide. You've gotta decide. And honestly, either way, you're going to be faced with something that feels really hard. If you decide to build it from the ground up without working someone else's job, you'll be faced with the opposition that makes you feel like you should just be working because it'll be easier. And then if you're working to save up for your business, you're gonna be faced with an obstacle that's gonna make you feel like you should have just built it from the ground up. So it never fails. It's, it's always something that will constantly make you, try to make you contradict or try to make you second guess your first decision. And I guess the task is to stay on that balance beam of what you've decided to do. Uh, amongst the distractions, amongst the voices and the thoughts, amongst the opinions and the hatred, um, I hope you all are working on your challenge. I definitely am. Very diligently. And um, I just want to say to you, as I'm saying to myself, that just decide and trust. And I know that can be the scariest thing. Like, God, I don't, I don't even, I've never, I've never even seen you operate like this before. And I'm 
supposed to trust that if I just step out and on my business, if I step out on water, I call it the, the Peter test. If I step out on water, you just you gonna keep me afloat? How when the economy's bad? How when we can barely pay our rent when I am working? How when we have so many responsibilities? How when student loans are piling up? How when I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul? How when people won't pay me what I deserve? How you know what I'm saying? All of these questions and. I promise you those questions will keep you sitting on a bench and not playing. You can't get the answers to those questions though because it don't ever make sense. We, we couldn't foresee where we are now and someone put up a status like the very place I am now, right now, I once prayed for, which is so true. So if, if he got us here and we couldn't see how he would do it, then we've got to trust and believe that he's going to do that for the next step and the next step and the next step. And I think sometimes we're afraid to find out if God is real, but he is. I want to say thank you to everyone who has shared and posted and reposted my videos and commentary. I tell you all all the time, comment, comment, comment. We've gotten in such a terrible habit of just watching things happen, which is so another subject, but we've gotten a bad habit of just watching. I want to talk to you, like interact. Um, everyone has an opinion. Everyone's going through something. Listen, there are so many people that are going to connect with this message. I know you have a voice. I know you have something to say. I'm also introducing writers to my show. Um, and what that means is there are people who would like to share their stories. And so you can remain anonymous or by name. It's so your choosing. And it's basically just people sharing their stories. Um, for the topic of the week so if you're interested in sharing your story or your opinion on my show please just email um, email me at tskipper at gmail.com and I'll let you know when I'll be reading it it's going to be so exciting this just gives people opportunity to share how they feel and share their stories um, anonymously or out loud it just gives you a platform to speak and share your opinion so thanks again you guys if you're watching this and you have not subscribed yet i don't know what you're waiting for i need you to subscribe thumbs up the video if you liked it um and just don't don't forget to share you guys this is a community thank you already for doing it y'all are my street team already you don't even know but um i hope that you feel encouraged and that you do decide um and that you trust that whatever decision you make um in your eyes don't think of right and wrong Think, faith and doubt and as long as the way you choose is full of faith I can't say it won't have obstacles everything will but it'll work out <laughs> so until next time you guys I will miss you I hope you miss me and take care peace this heart this heart so I'll be waiting